Bryson MacArthur's rare genetic disease went undiagnosed for most of his nine years, despite a relentless battery of tests. I think we probably lost count. There were at least a dozen that were genetics tests, but he also had muscle biopsies where they you know, cut into his leg and MRIs and, and all kinds of different things. Look at that. Now doctors say one simple new test could give a diagnosis a lot sooner. Whole genome sequencing analyzes a person's entire DNA sequence and compares it to a standardized reference sequence. Mismatches are signs of genetic abnormalities. A study conducted by this Canadian lab looked at 100 children who had serious symptoms but no diagnosis. We uncovered several different extremely rare disorders that the clinicians themselves would never have thought of. The study's co-author says genome sequencing was three to four times more successful than conventional tests and as the price of the procedure drops, the tests could finally be available at more hospitals. I don't think that we are too far away from it being a first-line genetic test. Well, I think it could be cool. It this health economist cool. urges caution. I mean, Sequencing has the potential to find other genetic disorders, even if the patient has no symptoms. That could cause family members to worry about their health and want to be tested too. In the volume of demand for genetic testing, would actually swamp the, uh, the system. There's no immediate treatment for Bryson MacArthur's rare condition, but his father says genome sequencing could have spared him years of uncertainty and heartache. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.